You know what's scary about dating in high school? Everything. You know what dating mistakes I made? All the mistakes. So this may stupefy some of you, but when I was in high school, I was a nerd. You could describe my entire high school dating career as one very strange science experiment, but I did come out of one or two of those experiences with some bits of wisdom. So here are my major three tips for teenage romance. Tip number one, don't forget your date's name. So I was walking to my car to go pick this girl up, uh, who, in my defense, I'd only met once, and suddenly I was like, Christy? Christine? Chrissy? Krista? <laughs> This was a dark pre-Facebook age, so the only thing that I could think to do was to call the friend who had introduced me to this girl who could not be named. Hey, hey, how are you? How are you doing today? Hey, just watching Felicity. And guess who, guess who I'm going out with tonight? Who? Someone we both know. <laughs> Come on, just tell me her name. I'll, I'll give you a clue. She has red hair. Okay, tip number two. Even if you're Mr. Smooth and remember their names, don't take your date to the most depressing movie ever. I did this right after the Namnesia episode. I really like this girl and I wanted to show her what a smart, fancy, literary... Whatever, you know, whatever she likes. So I took her to a little movie called... The Hours. If you've never seen that movie, uh, good for you. <laughs> it's about three different people spread out over the course of a hundred years, and I don't want to make a joke about this, but, uh, they're all... contemplating suicide. Hmm. But here's the number one tip I can offer. Never let your grandma ask out your prom date. I was getting ready to ask out this incredibly pretty girl. I was gonna do it face to face, with our faces facing. So one night at a school play, my mom pointed out this girl to my grandmother, and she said, that is the girl that Michael's going to ask out to prom. And Nani did not realize, is going to, does not mean the same thing as already has. So after the play, my grandma was like, hey, I hear you're going to prom with my grandson. The story does have a happy ending, even though my grandma made the worst first impression imaginable in all of time and space. The girl did say yes, and prom was really fun. And the even happier ending is that that relationship did not go anywhere, and about two years later, I met my wife. I think the reason that dating is so scary, and particularly first dates are so scary, is that you're trying to make a version of you in the other person's head. And because you really want that person to like you, you try to curate yourself, and you just kind of put on showcase the parts of you that you think that they'll like. And at some point, in all likelihood, you will meet someone who likes all the versions of you. And if you play your cards right, Nani doesn't even have to ask them out for you. Thanks for watching. P.S. I just wanted to say a very quick thank you to Birdie Bert G for subscribing and liking one of my videos recently. That was really awesome and exciting. Everyone should go over there and subscribe to his channel too, because as far as I can tell, the best way to get in with the ladies is to become Birdie Bert G. Now admittedly, I am a little bit obsessed with Breaking Bad, but for months now I've been particularly obsessed with the idea of whether Walter White deserves redemption.